Hey, it's Justin with another Game Curious. Today I'm taking a look at the new episode for Quake 1. Yeah, that's a real thing. Machine Games, the developers of Wolfenstein The New Order, and uh, members of the Bethesda family decided to release a new episode for Quake 1 for Quake's 20th anniversary. So I have been itching to play Quake ever since Doom came out, and I haven't tried to do any of the kind of Quake mods to play it on a modern computer uh, since I got Windows 10. So I kind of took this opportunity to figure out how to install the new episode and get Quake up to snuff. I, I found a guide and started using uh, a Quake mod called Dark Places, so we'll be running it through that and checking out this new episode and playing some Quake. So, hope you enjoy it. Alright, here we go. Nice intro setup here. Not as uh, dangerous to get to the hard skill as the original game, but... I think I'm actually most excited that I figured out how to load in the original soundtrack. So, uh, we're gonna play this on normal though. Just getting a feel for everything. Are there any secrets down here? Probably not. It's not even deep enough to have secrets. Yeah. All right. Let's get into this. The teleport noise just does not, does never fit in. Oh, secret, secret, seek. Found the nightmare. I could be wrong. I don't know if this difficulty setting it setup is different from the uh, additional episodes of Quake or not, or if they made it custom for this. But whatever. Ah, buddy, I'm already looking for secrets. Headshots don't matter. And secrets behind boxes. Whoa, shit! Not very much finesse in my platforming abilities right now. But I've got always run on. I might actually. Let me adjust that. Go up. There we go. We'll keep it for now. I mean, I swear, the shift doesn't... I thought shift would slow him down, but... I need to run more than I don't need to run, so... Yeah, this is seriously... Uh, I'm playing this live, but uh, JPT, the, it's one of my favorite Nine Inch Nails albums, and therefore it's the hardest one to really get a hold of. But, do a little bit of digging on the internet. Not even digging. There's plenty of readily available Quake information about how, how to get this game to run, so I was pretty happy with how easy it was to get it all acquired. I still have a Quake CD somewhere, but Quake always uh, it ran its music off directly off the CD, so when you buy a digital copy of Quake, that's... Well, huh. That's showing me they're gonna do some puzzles with multiple buttons. Hmm. Don't forget, you can jump in this game. Hey, you're giving me nails. So where's my nail gun? And there's health up there, so how do we get up there? And there's a key up there. A weird looking key. Gotta go in the water, but that's. Pretty sure that's poison water. <laughs> the screams confirm my suspicions. Uh, maybe we'll come back to it. I need the health, though. Still don't like killing puppies. No matter the game. There's the nail gun. And there's upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want more games to have the nail gun, but no other game should have the nail gun. <laughs> you make sense. Oh! Hi, puppy. It's you or me, puppy. I wish it could have been you. But survival instinct kicked, kicked in, and the puppy lost. 56 health. Wasn't there a health up here? There's a health over there. 
How do we get that? How do we get that? We're gonna just be shooting walls, hoping that they open secret passages. I can't make that jump. Can I make that jump? Place your bets now! You have to actually jump to be able to do it, though. You can't just fall off the edge. I don't think I can make that. No! He's got he's he's got decent hops. Let's just roll the dice and assume it's gonna give me some health here coming up. Question is do I need the nail gun out. Oh one change I do wanna make in my controls. Cause I've gotten out of this habit. Um but, but, next weapon. Good. Do you understand what the mouse wheel is, video game? Yes, sir, I do. There we go. That's a little bit easier. In my old age, I can't reach the numbers. The number keys while I'm pulling. There we go. Old friend Double Barrel. Double Barrel. Try saying that without an accent. Well, I mean, you probably can, but people from Indiana like me, we can't. Why are you giving me quad damage? <sighs> Alright, if you're gonna give me quad damage... Then... Uh, and we've got plenty of shotties. How do you miss that jump? Climb up there. Let's go. Where'd you go, puppy? Where'd the guy go? Ah, it's just so angry every time it gets used. Good thing you're wasting the freaking... Suit. I don't even know how. I don't know how long I have this suit. Probably about that long. <laughs> Such a good scream. <laughs> I wasted that though. Ugh. Still running, still running. There's another dude around here. Oh, was the exit that way? Yeah, you're right, JP. This is this is the first game I learned to use WASD. I, as I was setting up the controls, I remembered that by default that wasn't how it was set up. They tried to get you to use the arrow keys. Now oh, there's totally secrets down in the water that I messed up. Up it's from the other side, and you screwed that up because. You got so excited to use the quad damage. That you wasted the bio suit. All right. Anyway, let's mm. go towards the exit since it's telling me where to go. What are those dudes? Mm. You look like you're from Quake too. Get out of here. I bet you're from the other episode of Quake that I, I never played. Episode one and two, or two and three of Quake. All right. Let's just leave. Two out of six. Almost killed everybody, though. Don't, don't. Hey, this is... That's just not an effective weapon. That's no chainsaw. Who else? Oh, man, I have no health. Well, I don't have much health. The oh shit! Hopefully that worked out. Oh, didn't kill everybody. They gotta dodge quicker than that. How do we get over there? Oh, you do. No, you don't jump. That's not gonna do it. You just go around behind it. 
That's funny. Maybe, oh! Come here. Got him. Alright, we got two ways to go. And then we got some water to play with. We got three ways to go. Is that right? Is there three doors? I'll go behind the white door. This area is powered down, so I'm guessing that would change color when that becomes an option. Da, 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 da. Let's go downstairs. <clears throat> oh, there's that. There's an additional way. Sorry, I'm indecisive at the moment. Well, all the doors. I'm gonna go with all the doors are powered down. Yep, yeah, you must. So, ha, look like I had four ways. There's only one way to go. So yeah, how cool is it that they actually released this? Machine games. <coughs> that, that's also weird if Machine Games is messing with Quake. I still I'm still holding out hope that they'll give Quake the the Doom treatment. A recent Doom treatment and not just Quake Champions, but because I really want this setting for Quake to be redone in a modern style. But I'll take map packs in the meantime. <laughs> Just remind me to play this game. Ring of Shadows. Care to explain to me what that does? I'll change. I must be invisible. I'm guessing because my icon changed. And it's probably temporary. So get moving. Yeah. Let's get a. Nobody mind me. I'm just gonna go around here. Oh, you can touch him. Doesn't matter. But you can't get through. Oh crap! Oh crap! I don't even know what weapon I have out. All right. I think I wasted all my health that I picked up there. Oh, weird. I'm already back here. What powered that up? I don't remember powering anything up. Did that work? Like I snuck through there. I was going to say. That's wasn't so much the door is powered down as so much as it opens from the other side. <laughs> Puppy's upset. Puppy. Puppy. Puppy's kind of dumb. Or there were multiple puppies. That ring of shadows probably screws me up more than it helps me. I'd rather just work my way through the enemies. And make sure you try to dodge the slow-moving bullet at least once. They just drop down? They get to do that? Yes, so we witnessed it. You heard it here for it first. My circle strafing skills are coming back, though. My health management skills are uh, pushing it. How about you? You're not a secret door. I was gonna say there's usually a way up to higher platforms in this game, and they're all about climbing on boxes. question is then does heretic and hexen get the get the doom treatment it seems like they could have fun with that all that for nail ammo okay that's where I killed all the dudes and I came out over there what the hell picked up the ring in here 
Oh, I guess I did turn on some power to, right? That's weird. Hmm. How's that? Did I power up any other doors, though? I don't feel like I did. Power down. That's still powered <coughs> down. What did I do? That's it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, alright. There was another path to go to. <coughs> <gasps> Shit! Oh. Who won this room? Now I want to play with custom soundtracks. I'm a bad shot! Jeez. Just in a narrow hallway and I can't seem to hit him. Who did I leave? Ah, just a grunt. Not the super soldiers. Man. I didn't really... I thought I was abusing my... Shotgun man, ammo, but what? What's up with this shadowy little corner? Two of them. Just let me like fall to my death. Okay. Do, do, do. You, you. Any secrets at all? Not looking like. Uh, not looking like I'm a very good secret hunter in this game so far. Okay, so we've got going with both sides are open. So I'm guessing that door is now open. Oh, they opened it for me. Puppy! That is a long run into this gun. Ah! Oh, I had that entire hallway to dodge that bullet. Jeez, way to make it awkward. What, pup? Puppy? Can he swim? <laughs> what happened to the puppy? Are you gonna get in here? He's still running around. <laughs> Good for him. He killed me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that puppy wins. Oh, I'm so proud of that puppy. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Don't make fun of those puppies, man. <laughs> I'm getting a drink, dude. Calm down. All right, puppy. You're cute and all. But you gotta die. Not so much you. Well, I mean, you gotta die. But your your buddy that's gonna come up here behind you, he's gotta die. Whoa. Everybody tripped. Got him. It was... He saw me try to, like, strafe right and left, and that's what... Maybe drop it in the water. And then panic. And then get eaten by an amphibious dog. What is that? That's gotta be a. Uh... Ooh, that's a big open room. Wow. Oh, shut up. What, what? You gotta do something. You don't, you're not doing anything? You're just a big, colorful platform for no particular reason? Shit. 15 health. I'm gonna waste ammo. 
Alright, let's run through there. Shit! Player was spiked? There's a fucking trap? Yikes! Be a little bit more cautious here. Oh yeah, that room. Come on down. Use next. One more. Keep it coming. It's a fun little death corner. Oh, hi! You didn't come play. Okay, so that entire room cleared out, but that room did not, and they have all the bullets. We're playing it safe. We're not conserving with my ammo, though. But I don't know what that spike trap even looked like. They're also dropping shotgun ammo, so. All right. And shotgun ammo hang out right next to me. Shotgun ammo there. What the, f what the hell was that spike trap? What the? What the hell is that? Was it a one-time thing? That is not a one-time thing! What the fuck? Is it always coming from? It's whatever side I'm stepping on. What the hell are you supposed to do? Oh, f Well, that wouldn't have been the end of the world. I don't think. I thought you could hit those with the gun. Shit. What are they trying to get me to do? I kind of want to fall, but I kind of don't want to replay this level one more time. <laughs> Oh, good. Okay. I'm getting the gold key card. Alright, well, so whatever direction. I mean, what are you. What? Right, we're gonna try something here. Which is. See you later. Oh, gosh. And it's a bunch of health. found a secret. I thought I was going to die, and it's a freaking secret with a bunch of health. Nothing to swim under, though. So where is this going to fucking teleport me? Let's... Oh. That's what that was. Been too long to know that that's a teleport station. I, that doesn't solve my problem. Because that trap is freaking rough. Precision nail gun. No scope. Oh, 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 oh. You see this? You see me doing that stuff? Oh, and it stopped it. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> you some bitch. Alright, maybe maybe this is more fair than I gave it credit for. Ha! It isn't impossible. Is that it? That's not it. I don't trust you, button. Where we going, button? Where are we go? Who's on the other side of this door? Something to shoot! No, just an exit. It, nobody? Nobody. We were that close, ladies and gentlemen. I'd replay that like five times because I didn't know what a ledge was, but at least ha, we found secrets. Why, why would I, why would I want to do that? Why would I, oh, that guy. You guys have been seeing better days. Kind of looks like actually more Minecraft character than I give credit for. 
I'll walk in the slip gate. Two out of five. I did kill everybody, though. Oh, if you're keeping track at home, that actually only took eight minutes, not 30. You could have been confused. Now that is very much like the intro to a quake level. Let's see, we got the assault rifle. No, that's just the rockets. That's the rocket launcher. We'll kill you later. Full up on health. Could use some armor. Oh, a grenade launcher. I'm an idiot. I'm a really good shot with the grenade launcher. At least he drops grenades. Nobody got hurt. That's all that matters. Oh, that was that hurt. Yeah, because if you get close enough to actually use the double barrel on him, he's close enough to shoot you in the face with a grenade. Your door opens elsewhere. Speaking of grenade launchers, why don't you select it and then make your joke? Killing zombies with grenades. That's what Quake 1 taught me. It's most effective. You guys actually need nails. A lot of nails. But nails nonetheless. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Go it into pieces. Did he come back, or was that the, which dude was in it? I forget if they come back if you don't blow them up. That zombie noise gave me the creeps as a kid, though. I blame my parents for letting me play this game. You want me to go down? Is that what you want me to do? I think I need the key for that one. Gold key, silver key, no key. Uh, what? What are you? An underwater gate has been raised, and we have let loose hot death coming your direction. But I can't even get underwater. Oh, that probably unlocked that. Oh, boy. Get some air. Hi! You're a good shot with a grenade, too. Oh, you've got a buddy. Give me them rockets. That sound also gave me the creeps. Because you know what Kamikaze Knight is headed your way when you hear that sword unsheath. I don't feel like we're done down here. I mean, there's... Oh, that's just... I don't understand how you can get that much velocity by throwing limbs underwater. It seems to defy the laws of physics. This game's broken. Those aren't the scariest enemies. The super pinky demons that are in this game are the. Oh god! No oh, shit! Please panic! Please use the weapon that you didn't want to use on him. Just because he got you from behind. Okay, I'm now. Okay. He came from over there. Right. Health. Not doing so hot on health. Hey, that's just. 
I forgot about traps. And I bet you're also one, aren't you? Yeah. Look at you and your nails. That's special. Jerks. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I mean, those are the only two ways to go. Right? There's nothing else in that corner. Is it a continuous... shot? Uh, I'm gonna go with yes. Can I do one of these? Sure can. Sir, what? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Well, it felt good to be back in Quake. I'm uh, really, really happy that Machine Games uh, put out that new episode. It's uh, it's pretty cool to have an excuse to to try that out when, uh, like I said earlier, just uh, I've had that itch to play to play Quake. And um, um, but sometimes the extra effort that it takes to get mods and and such set up for games on the PC is enough of a deterrent not to play it. And then I've kind of found recently when going back to play games just for nostalgia's sake, you know, I'll, I'll play them for five or 10 minutes. So if it's going to take me 10 or 15 minutes to set up something for a five or 10 minute experience, it's not necessarily worth it. But with new content for an old favorite game, it gives me a, an excuse to play it longer and also revisit the stuff I like. So uh, in that regard, I think I was just really happy to play some more Quake as far as the uh, episode itself. Um, I, I really like the, the design. It feels very... Uh, the level layouts feel very deliberate as far as um, the traps and such that I ran into. and um, But it def definitely felt like Quake and... Um, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, it's a free, free new episode celebrating the 20th anniversary of Quake, and you know, um, great excuse to give it a shot and see how it runs on your system. So I, I, I recommend it. It's not like you have to spend money on it. So it's definitely worth the time uh, setting it up. And who knows? Maybe then you'll you'll go back and play the old episodes and uh, maybe get some deathmatch set up and enjoy yourself some Quake in 2016. Uh, at least until um, Quake Champions comes out, and hopefully. Hopefully, somebody gives uh, the original Quake kind of a doom treatment for the single player side too. In the next couple of years, uh, I won't hold my breath, but um, it was, it's still nice to think about. Anyway, that episode of Quake is available now um, from Machine Games on their Twitter, and I'll put a link to the download in the YouTube description and the article as well. Uh, but it's called Dimension of the Past, and uh, pretty easy setup. So uh, give it a shot. We'll see you.